So the first step to removing the battery is pulling out these pins. So they just come out towards the center. The next step in removing the battery is loosening the wing nut. All right, now that the seat is off, we can begin taking the battery off first by unplugging it. This first one is the data cable. It has a collar that you unscrew and then it just comes out. Now for the main power cable, there's this green tab. If you look on top of the connector, there are arrows, but basically this green tab has to get pulled back till it clicks like that. Then you press down on the orange tab and pull it out. Next, to undo the battery latch, we just pull this out until it releases, and then you push this forward, and you should be able to get the battery cover and battery out now. This is a view from on top of the bike. We're looking down at the controller. The first step to removing the controller is to remove this plastic cover that, that covers the terminals. Um, this plastic cover right here, it's very easy to break this, so just be very careful. The best way I have found to remove it is getting a screwdriver, and you wanna just kinda gently pry against the controller with a small screwdriver, and then it should pop off. Now that the cover is off, we can move to removing all the high power wiring. These are all 10 millimeter bolts. Now the last thing to disconnect on the controller, now that all the high power wiring is off, is this main connector. Now the end of the connector is very close to the motor, so if you have larger hands, it can be difficult to grab it. So what I've found is easiest is we're gonna actually move on to unbolting the controller that way we can slide this up and have the room we need to get this connector off. All right, we are now looking at the bottom of the skid plate and these four bolts are what hold the controller on. They're T30, so you just loosen them to remove. Now that the motor has been unbolted from the bike, we can slide it off and get slide it up and get this main connector up. So, slide this towards the top of the bike. And we're gonna pull back the boot. And we have to press this tab in and pull the connector out. Now make sure you pull by this tab in this tab and make sure not to pull on the wires. Sometimes they can be a little stuck, so you might have to wiggle it a little bit. And then it comes out, and now we can remove the controller. So we're getting ready to reinstall the controller. I just wanted to show you the bottom of the controller first. So the threaded holes are here, 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 and here. It's very easy when you go to line this up to look at one of these holes and think they forgot to thread it. But these are just there. There are threaded holes. They're just a little bit below them. Now we've attached the phase wires, just match the colors and everything, just hand, hit, thread the bolts in by hand and we'll move on to tightening once everything is connected. Now the thing I wanted to point out with the main power wires, the black wire and the red wire, is that you also have to make sure you get this red wire with the ring terminal on the same terminal as this, and then the green wire goes on the same terminal as the negative, the black wire. And you want to make sure that these are on the bottom. 
that's just how they come from the factory. I'm not sure it makes too big of a difference, but we just uh, do that just to be safe. You can see I have the ring terminal underneath the thicker gauge wire ring terminal. And then we can just thread that in as much as we can by hand. So a long extension can help you get into these areas with the torque wrench. Um, and no, an extension doesn't affect the torque, but um, it does help you reach into places. So we're just gonna go ahead and tighten all these. wanted to point out one quick note when you're reinstalling the controller is that this connector is keyed you can see those slots on either side so you make sure when you put it in you have the tab facing out or towards the motor and if it doesn't slide in easily don't force it but make sure you hear that click